Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we're back with more Darkwing Blast reveals. Before we get into this, though, let me do some YouTube stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all Yu-Gi-Oh! news. I make videos whenever any new cards be dropping and other stuff as well. Deck profiles, discussion videos, whatever. Um, and... I also have a Twitter now. Haven't had one for a long time. Never been a big social media person, but I am enjoying having a Twitter. So if you want to hear my thoughts there on anything in life, uh, go ahead and uh, follow me there. A link will be in the description. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Um, we have a new Exceed monster. This card's quite good. Um, we'll see. And then we'll get to him first. And then secondly, we'll get to this new Underworld monster. Uh, a new Link 2 um, to support Fiend decks, it is way better than Beat Cop, um, and I'm very excited. So let's start off with our Exceed monster, though. Very glad that Darkwing Blast is kind of finishing up with more nice, neat, even though these are niche cards, they're, they're very, very solid cards, and they're not just full-on filler. This is Mirio Logic Aggregator, I guess. He's a rank nine dark cyber exceed monster. 26, 3000 for the, uh, for the stat line there. It's pretty beefy. He takes two or more level nine monsters. Hopefully it's just two, but yeah. And he has three hard ones per turn effects. The first one reads, if this card is XYZ summoned, you can send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Okay. Second effect, you can target monsters in your graveyard up to the number of materials attached to this card. Detach materials from this card equal to the number targeted. And if you do, attach the targeted monsters to this card as material. And the third effect, if this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, period, just, well not period, but uh, semicolon, if this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, semicolon, you can target one face-up card on the field. Negate its effects until the end of this turn. This is a good card. Uh, so listen, here's where we're at. First effect, solid. On summon, extra foolish burial. Hell yeah. You're sending stuff like Intus. You can send stuff like Herald of the Arclight to search something like Illusion of Chaos. Search yourself Magician Souls. It's another extender depending on the deck you're playing uh, with. Um, there's obviously other stuff, Wind Pegasus, Attic Nister, so on and so forth. There's a handful of cool things, uh, obviously, that we can be sending for extra value. The second effect um, is an interesting one. This one swaps cards in Grave with the materials that are currently attached to him. Now, uh, I'll talk about synergy with the first effect in a sec, um, but it, it's interesting. The, the cool thing is you can uh, like swap materials with something that you already sent off the first effect to get it back in rotation i guess is the way i'd put it and third effect if this card is sent to the graveyard target a card face up on the field that's just an, a bit a blanket negate what i like about this negate is it's any card and when it's just sent so not only um can we negate stuff like floodgates or even starter cards that happen to be uh, field spells or continuous spells even equip spells um but the fact that it's any card just gives you a lot of extra versatility. Hitting Floodgates, absolutely huge for certain decks. Um, you know, just literally could be an out that saves your Heine. And also, I like that it's just generically when this card is sent to Grave. It's not even field to Grave. So that means this card itself becomes a Punishment, Artemis Slay, uh, Extra Foolish Burial Target, and any other card that, that just generically sends something. Uh, Dogmatica, what's the... What, Maximus? I think a Maximus is the one I'm thinking of. Uh, or Nadir Servant. Like, a hand, all those cards. Like, this guy becomes an additional target. If it's more important for you to negate something, more so than it is for you to pop something, this could be a, a, another, you know, adjacent target to Untis. Very, very cool. Um, what I like about the synergy with the first two effects is, theoretically, you could use this effect to dump something. Let's say Untis. And let's say you're even going first. So you're not even popping anything. Um... But then you can use the second effect to swap materials, equipping or re-equipping Untis to this card. And now Untis is back in rotation to potentially go to Grave again. So my idea was if you could end on this and an IP Mascarena, it gives you the ability to like quick uh, link into something like a Unicorn. And then literally all at once in one chain link, you would use Unicorn's effect to shuffle something. This card's effect when it hits the grave to permanent or not permanently, but for the rest of the turn, negate any face-up card, 
And you'd be able to trigger Untis because it was equipped and it is being sent to Grave to pop another card. That is a ton. That is two removals and a negation all on one interruption there, um, which is something pretty interesting. I just think that's a lot of value in terms of interruption. Um, and I think it's cool. I like this card's pretty open-ended. It's pretty versatile in the ways you can use it. Just having it in the extra for a deck that plays Punishment is probably going to be somewhat standard, maybe, um, depending on the format. But really cool. I think this is a cool card. It's open-ended. The biggest downside of this card, though, in my opinion, 100% for sure, is this right here. Level 9. Unfortunately, just level 9s aren't as popular. If this was a rank 8, this card would be insane as a rank 8. Um, but I get why it isn't. It, it may be a little bit a little bit too accessible there. Now only a couple of particular decks, maybe um, Virtual World, maybe some stuff like Generator would maybe try and play this card, but not too many others. But still a really cool card nonetheless. Moving on here to our second card, we have Reporter from the Underworld. I love the design. By the way, both these designs are awesome. Look at this dude. He looks so freaking cool. And then you get to her. I love her design as well. You know, she's got the reporter outfit. She's got this really cool microphone uh, holding up to somebody for an interview. And I just love the demonic microphone. And I also love her, her friend back here recording. So, so cool. I love the artwork there. But anyway, this is a Dark Fiend Link monster. Thousand attack. It is a Link 2, uh, which was a little bigger, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Her arrows point directly to the left and directly down. She takes any two effect monsters, which is so clean, extremely generic. And her second effect is a hard monster turn. Also, she cannot be used as Link material. The turn she was Link summoned. Very important to keep in mind. But usually when we see that on a card, it means that card's got a pretty busted effect. This one is no exception. If a monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you contribute one fiend monster instead. This is just a nice little bonus effect. This is not the main effect, but it's, it's a nice little protection effect. I like that you just kind of get to choose. Even this card you could protect by tributing another fiend. You could protect another card by tributing this card. I like it, and that's not even once per turn either. So as long as you have enough fiend monsters on field, you could kind of just keep protecting the most important cards uh, or monsters on your field. It's pretty cool. And the second effect, the more important one, you can target one fiend monster in your graveyard except for itself. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except fiend monsters. Also, discard one card, and if you do, special summon that monster. Man, this this card is so clean. This card is so freaking clean. Um, yeah, so basically this is just like a super powerful Fiend support card. You've kind of been waiting for a card like this for a while for Fiend decks. There's going to be a handful of decks that can use this out the gate. You guys know I am a hard stand on Lair of Darkness. This very much so fits that deck. In particular, I had cut Tour Guide from the list in, in multiple builds just because Tor, Tour Guide doesn't get you a live Lilith. It gets you two Lilith, but it's not live, uh, which is not good enough. But now you would go Tour Guide summon Lilith, li uh, link them into this, use this card to discard a card, and reborn the Lilith. This does not negate the monster you reborn, by the way, and there's no level restriction either. You could reborn a, a level 8 or higher Fiend monster, and it's still not being negated. Really cool there. But you reborn the Lilith, and then the Lilith contribute this to set a trap, and you still have Lilith, and she's 2,000. So with Tour Guide and any discard in hand, you get to Lilith with 2,000 attack and any trap card uh, from, the, from the game, uh, any normal trap card set on your field, turn one. Really, really cool value. I love that that adds a ton of consistency to Lair, and I'm sure it'll add even more uh, other, other plays as well. Reborning stuff like Sangan just to you know, clear it again and, and get another search. Reborning Skarm just to get another search, like all that stuff. Really, really cool. I love how generic it is. It's going to be like super accessible. And there's a handful of other decks to talk about as well. I think Labyrinth will probably tech this in. Not a deck that goes in the extra deck all that often, but this card could be really good at, at, at getting stuff back from Grave at certain in certain instances. Again, it doesn't negate the cards. If you reborn an Ariana, she triggers to search you. Reborn your boss monster if it gets out and sent to Grave. Very, very good. Um... Also, Dark Worlds, huge thing here that I, I that isn't really relevant to Lair or Labyrinth is this. It discards as effect, not as cost. So this card actually triggers Dark World monsters. 
Very, very huge. So not only do you get a body back onto the field, but you also trigger a Dark World monster. And like, yes, this card doesn't necessarily um, contribute to your end board scenario, aside from the protection it offers, which actually could be really nice at certain times, making it hard for certain cards um, like Lightning Storm to really give you trouble because you just they just trade Lightning Storm for this, which isn't really doing a ton on the field for you, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, the fact that it triggers Dark World is huge. There could potentially be synergy for some other stuff as well. Arch Fiends, maybe Unchained, maybe Burning Abyss, although the restrictions probably keep them from being great with this card. Um, but there's a handful of other Fiend decks as well, and, and there might be other ones that I'm not listing here that this could still have synergy with. But I'm very excited for this one. Again, I think Konami's been nailing this side of things, which is we used to see 15 to 20 filler cards that really aren't doing a ton for the set and pushing it now it feels like konami's getting closer and closer to like maybe 10 and like these cards are certainly not filler in my opinion i think these are good enough to not count as filler and um, i love that konami's been leaning off of filler and giving us more just cool stuff this stuff isn't meta warping like format changing cards but they're nice for the decks that will try to play them rank nine decks and fiend decks and i appreciate that so there we go. That's my overall uh, synopsis of what's going on with these two new cards. Obviously, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on both of them. If there's any important things synergy-wise with other cards that already exist that I didn't mention here, or just things about their effects that might be important to note, obviously let me know down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Twitter. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.